In this episode of Sailing Nanji, we head to the Russell Island group and raft up with Farah in paradise. We continue sailing west through the group of islands, finding small waves and anchorages as we go. Be sure to watch till the very end to find out some massive news for Nanji. Sailing into the night, beautiful out here, had a bit of a squall. We're leaving the Florida Islands now, and so we're heading down to the Russell Islands. So it's, it's only uh, 50 odd miles, but because there's such light winds, we decided we'd do it overnight, because we we'll probably won't arrive till tomorrow afternoon, because we'll only do two knots, but on the water again. It's Marley's first night sail since he's been back on the boat. He's had a big day of running around on two different islands all to himself and chasing coconuts and swimming. He's done lots of swimming today. He's got a cut right there on his head. Hey Marley. Here they come! Here they come! Oh. There is literally one spotty anchor here and our friends anchored before us and we've just realized that so they are pulling up their anchor and uh, we're gonna raft up on our anchor because we have a Manson Supreme. We arrived to Lurligan Island around midday. Finding anchorage around the outer Russell Islands is difficult due to no lagoon entrances and deep water with steep drop-offs on the outside of the reef. We anchored in 25 metres on a small shoal. Lucky the forecast was for fine weather. We wasted no time and went exploring this little slice of heaven. The crystal clear water was a pleasure to dive in as the visibility was over 30 metres. I was still struggling with the flu so unable to dive down but the snorkelling was still beautiful and Marley and I had our own fun. His shoulders wet. How you doing, mate? It's banging, eh? <laughs> As beautiful as the island was, unfortunately the impact of plastic and rubbish was very noticeable. However, our friend Raquel had lost her thongs, so we tried to find her a matching pair. Get him! You guys are... Oh, Marley's come with you. Marley, how are you? Yeah. Okay, and you follow the dog. <laughs> <laughs> bamboo, uh...
we're having a bonfire on the beach. We're just waiting for our friends to come as well. Uh, we're going to cook a curry. As we were very low in supplies, this difficult curry recipe involves wrapping fish up in foil and adding some curry paste and coconut milk. Place the fish on hot coals, cook some rice separately and enjoy. Delicious! Had a nice little day sail, found a new anchorage with a little bon wave out the front. So we're gonna go have a play this afternoon. Phew! Yeah, it's awesome. We've got this whole little island to ourselves with a sandy beach so Marley can run around and uh, we're in about six to eight meters of sand and there's this reef all around us. So, but uh, yeah, enough swing space so we're happy. Perfect! Yeah, might what stay here for a while. <laughs> what do you reckon Marley? Our new anchorage was on the inside of Leotogan Island. This little island is wide open to the whole coral sea. If only there was a cyclone down south to push a little swell this way. Got wax? <laughs> wax on? I need lots of wax. Because I'm not very deep. Go get her. Oh, she's deep. She's deep, she's having a crack. Legend! Yes! Oh! Phew! I have a feeling not many people have surfed here, so I named the wave Maybes, as in maybe this could be good. time spent at this little island oasis has been a huge highlight of our trip. Discovering uninhabited sandy caves, getting closer to nature and enjoying some solitude away from the hustle of western society was an initial inspiration in purchasing Nanji. Life is pretty sweet when in the company of beautiful surroundings and a beautiful lady. Sailing has allowed us to explore and discover places we have only dreamed of. You could say I was feeling very content at this stage of life. Another little slice of heaven here in the Solomons. We spotted this little anchorage off the satellite images. It just looked like a big sandy hole on the inside of this reef. That reef's got this perfect little bond wave just peeling down the point. Little cove. Mint. I'll just jump in and have a dive on the anchor to see what these bombies are around us, whether they come up near the surface. But we're in like 10 meters over sand, so perfect anchorage. Go play test dummy and see how shallow it is. Phew. Once again, if only there was swell. This small wave broke down a shallow reef for over 100 meters. So I named this one Potentials. Is that a tornado forming? Uh oh. Yeah, just here. Uh -oh. right above us. 6.7, oh come on Yash! This is the fastest we have been in the whole of the Solomons! Yeehoo! We are flying! 
flying! Haven't felt speed for a while. Woohoo! We've done four knots everywhere we go. Now we're doing seven. Woohoo! I'm loving the Solomons. It's beautiful and the places and anchorages are awesome, but sailing around here sucks. Uh, we have a forecast of 10 to 15 knots east. We start out with 10 knots east and then we have squalls from every direction, wind from every direction. One minute you have 20 knots, next minute you have zero again. Just forever changing sails, changing direction, putting out sail, reducing sail. It's just constant. You can't just set some sails and cruise. You just all day long and then all night long and all day long. It's just ridiculous on passage. The further from land we travelled, the more settled the wind became. Cruising with a gentle 10 knot easterly, we sailed into another evening heading northwest. It was 80 nautical miles to reach the western province of the Solomon Islands and our destination of the Morovo Lagoon, the eighth wonder of the world. Sea legs. I'm a tainted if I rush, probably spoil it. When I sing to you. That's another episode. Uh, it was so great finding those little anchorages. It was actually kind of good to get away from the canoes. As much as we love them, it was great just having some time to ourselves for a few days, wasn't it? Yeah, no, that's that's the dream right there. That's what everything I've ever wanted, basically. <laughs> Except if it was pumping surf, then <laughs> I would have been cheek to cheek. But I was and, still smiling so much. And like. maybe not so shallow. Some of the reef was, you know, the water was up to my knee and I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was a bit shallow. It was very shallow. I'm not very good at lending yeah. yet. <laughs> These videos are brought to you by our patrons, so we just want to say a big thank you to our newest patrons. We have Stuart, Rennie, Mick and Megs, Todd, Jim, Howie, William, Tony, and Randy up this pledge uh, for, uh, as well. So thanks, legends. We really can't thank everyone enough who decided to become patrons. It's only because of our patrons that that we can continue to sail, continue to explore and continue to share our videos with you guys and, and keep on creating because yeah, without you guys, Nanji would be nothing. So we'll be sitting here in the Solomon still for another few weeks while we wait for the trades to swing around around April, I suppose. So we've still got a fair bit more exploring to do here, which is pretty exciting because yeah. we love the Solomons. the Solomons. Yeah. But then once the trades start, yeah, we'll head on up to Papua New Guinea and uh, and then we'll probably most probably cruise through Indonesia. And uh, once we get there, we have a really big and scary decision to make. But uh, I guess you could say that we will... It's a big decision. Do we cross the Indian? And at the moment, everything says yes. Yes. But we need support to be able to do that. We need to make our videos and reach our next Patreon goal so we can get spinnaker and a life raft and essential things to cross a big ocean. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's a girl. Brave Coming up next on Sailing Nanji, we arrive to the stunning Morovo Lagoon being bombarded by woodcarvers. We spend a few days with the chief living the life of a Solomon Islander. We hear a custom story with traditional language and spear some fish. Girl,